Hey everyone, my name is Ramal JP De La Serna, and for today's video, I'm going to teach you about how to make an order letter. So let's go! And so in this presentation, we will discuss about what is an order letter, the purpose of the letter, and how to make an order letter. Placing orders has become part and parcel of every individual's life in today's world. Everyone who is tech savvy, including children, have become a pro in purchasing whatever they need online. This is easy as all that is needed is a smartphone, an internet connection, and a facility for online banking. On the contrary, if you are a business owner or a sales executive, you will have to write letters or emails to place orders for bulk purchases. This presentation on order letter format will help you understand how to write order letters and how to use them. So what is an order letter? An order letter is a formal letter written to confirm the list of items you would like to purchase. The purpose of an order letter is to provide the manufacturer or distributor with the instructions in detail. The main purpose of writing an order letter is to inform the buyer about the details of the items bought or sold. It also serves as documentation for further recurrence and record keeping. So how do we make an order letter? An order letter should be clear and precise. See to that you use a polite and professional note. Specify all the required details without missing out on anything in order to avoid any sort of confusion. The order letter format goes like this. It is recommended that the order letter format should look as follows. The first thing to write is the sender's address. This is to specify the place of the sender. The next should be the date in which the letter has been written. The third thing to write is the receiver's address in which the letter will be delivered. The next thing to write is the subject in which is specified about the items that will be ordered. And then you add the salutations including the name of the receiver. And then, you specify in the first paragraph the introductions of the letter and the purpose of writing your letter. This should be followed by the second paragraph which contains the list of items required with the quantity in bullet points or tabular columns. The last is the concluding paragraph, stating when you will expect the delivery of items and thanking them for their service. And then you end with a complimentary closing with yours sincerely, sincerely, or etc. Signature of the sender and name in block letters. Remember, an order letter should contain the terms and conditions of the purchase. It is important to provide the products required, all the specifications of the product, and the quantity. If it is a response letter or confirmation of the order, the price details of the various products, the date of delivery, and the billing information has to be included. That is all for my report. I thank you.